In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Chrome Remote Desktop. So this can be really useful to remotely control and access another computer's desktop. Now to do this, we first just need to open up a Google Chrome browser on our computer, and then we're going to type in Chrome Remote Desktop and press enter. You can then click on this top website, which is remotedesktop.google.com. You then need to click on this option for access my computer. Now in the top right hand side, make sure you're signed in to the correct Google account and once you're signed in you need to click on the download button next to set up remote access. You can then press add to Chrome and click on add extension. You can then press accept and install. You can then double click on this file here and then you can just wait while this installs onto your computer. You can then enter a name for your computer and press next and you'll need to create a six digit pin. Once you've created your pin code press start. Now after a couple of seconds it should say online like this and you can always press the refresh button if it says offline. Now the next thing you'll need to do is head over to your second device that you want to connect the remote desktop to. Now this can be a mobile phone or it can also be another computer. Now I'll just be doing this on my mobile but this will also work on another computer as well. So all you need to do is open up the internet browser and in the search box type in Chrome Remote Desktop and click on this top website here. You then just need to make sure you're signed in to the correct Google account and then you should be able to see your your remote device at the top of this page. You can simply click on it like so and that's going to connect you to this device. You'll then need to enter the pin code that we just set up and that's going to connect you now to your computer. So you can see right here, I can now see my computer screen and basically everything I do now on my mobile is going to be replicated over to my computer. So it's just basically a remote way to access someone else's computer. So let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.